today we're going to create a fall themed line project. First, I want everyone to do is write your name on the top and your class code, first grade, and either your A, B, C, D, or E, and your paper is going to be vertical. Flip it over, and then you are going to start drawing. So we're just, we are going to create a turkey line design. So first, what you're going to do is you're going to draw a circle. And I'm using a small cap. If you don't have a cap, just draw a small circle. Not too small. This is the size I want you to draw which is a good medium size, small. Next, I want everyone to do is draw a half circle. And now I want, I want you to draw the head. The head is going to be a curved line down and I draw the little beak and a oval shape. We're going to erase this line. We're going to draw a small circle for the eye and another small circle for inside the eye. And now we're going to draw a, another circle inside. I'm going to use a circle stencil that I have from home. I'm just showing you what circle you should draw visually. So let's match. So we're gonna match up what I drew here. Okay, this is about the about the size, but we want it to be. Yeah, let's make it the same size. So we're gonna make the size. So when you draw your circle, it's gonna be smaller than the turkey's body, and we're gonna draw it light. And now we're going to draw. The curve. So we're going to erase th this whole section, but wait before we erase it. We're going to make one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four feathers for the turkey. And we're gonna make our, our horizontal lines come out just a little bit. And we're gonna draw little vertical lines down the hand. So that's the body. Now we're gonna draw the inside lines. So we're gonna go Squibble, so wavy line down the turkey's head. Vertical lines on the left side above the turkey's hand. Wavy lines for the turkey. And see I'm going down. Going down and one more. And then what what is the next step is to draw the feet. So we have two vertical lines and one, two, three feet.
So one, two, three lines on the bottom, one, two, three lines on the other leg. Now we're gonna draw the, the turkey body. So we did the body, now we're drawing the turkey's um, feathers. So for the feathers, you want to, so you want to start out with drawing two, a horizontal line that is not the top of the body, but below the body, but not down to where the feet are. And you're going to, and we're going to draw a big curve line. See, this is, this is the feathers. And now I'm going to draw some diagonal lines around the feathers. And this is for the turkey. Okay, now that's complete. Now I'm going to draw some lines on the inside. One, two, one, two. So we have vertical line, one, two, one, two. Vertical line, one, two, one, two. These are two diagonal lines. Vertical line, diagonal, diagonal, going up, diagonal, diagonal. Then we have another one. One, two, one, two. Vertical line going up. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. On both sides. And one, two, one, two. Last one. One, two, one, two. And now we're gonna draw a last part. Draw a vertical line. through the legs. And this part will be the bottom, the bottom. So now I'm going to outline, trace the turkey and the horizontal line for the rounds with the lines. So now that I finished outlining, I'm now going to color the turkey red. So this whole section will be red. So I'm going to outline the section first. And it's okay if you get inside of this circle here. The whole thing is going to be red anyways. My main concern is for you to color inside of the turkey. So the whole section needs to be turkey is red. And it's okay if it breaks. Now it is a smaller crayon, two small crayons. And we're learning about how lines create shape and create objects. See that there's still some white spots? I'm still not done. I want to go back and fill in the rest. You want to have good craftsmanship when coloring. That's why I always try to go back on, on some of the areas that I finish colored. And you don't want to color the eye red.
So you want to outline it around. See, I'm going around the eye and I'm circling it around. And there we go. And now I'm going to take another type of red. I'm going to take, um, I'm going to take the red violet. Now I know that, that some of you don't have that, so you could just use orange. I'm going to use red violet for the beak. And another shade of red. Um, the same thing. It doesn't look like the same. No. Oh, uh, okay, it's a little bit lighter. Okay, so I did different shades of red inside. Now I'm going to color red orange and orange. And you can use red and uh, yellow and orange. I'm using two different shades of orange. You can use whatever colors you have, either yellow, orange, red, orange, or orange, uh, yellow, green, anything that, that is fall. So I'm using fall colors. And that's what you will be using is fall colors. And see, I'm just making a pattern. So I'm going from light orange to dark orange. And see, I'm just going back and forth on the color. And now going back to light. I'm just outlining the, the areas first. And I'm going back and forth with the section. And now going back to dark. I'm simply just coloring the area. Now I'm going to finish the other half off camera using the two colors. Now the pattern is complete with the light orange and the dark orange. I'm going to take my green color and color this whole bottom section here. And this is the ground. So I'm going to take my crayon, which I'm using yellow green. You can use any type of green you like. I'm using a light color. And I'm, see, I'm just going back and forth, but, but I'm going to color the rectangle first. And now I'm going back and forth. with the section. Okay. 
see how, how I'm coloring? I'm taking my crayon and I'm going back and forth, back and forth across the page. And there's no white spots by doing that, by taking your hands, holding down the paper, taking your, your, your coloring hand, and go sideways. Now I'm going up and down. And I'm just going to keep coloring section and that's it. And that's how you color a whole section using one color. And now I'm going to color the background using blue. So here is the final project of our fall turkey line drawing. Here I created the, I used dark blue for the sky and I colored the sky and here's the grass.